Hello and welcome to the next instalment of our series, Performance with Purpose, in partnership with Perpetual. In just over a year in the role of Chief Executive, John Durkin has seen Coles extend its lead over arch rival Woolworths and continue to grow both sales and market share, despite the arrival of low-cost competitors. So far, it's suggested there's been a seamless transition from previous CEO of Coles, Ian McLeod. I asked John what values he inherited from Ian and how he's built on them. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, I, I started roughly at the same time as Ian. Um, so we've been on the journey together. The one thing Ian did uh, in our business, he put the stores front and centre of our business. Um, he put the customer front and centre of our, our business. So everyone in Coles would know that the stores and customers are what we're about. Stores are really our proxy for customers. It's where we can interact best. And what, what Ian and certainly the team, leadership team at Coles did, we've, we've put the pride back into the business and the pride back into people. People now can go to their family barbecues, can stand up and, and say that actually, you know, they're, they're proud to work for a business that, that's done what we've done over, over the last seven years. But we want to be a bold business. We want to be an employer of, of choice. We employ 100,000 team members across the country. We're a big part of the employment population. We've, we've got to make sure that we're respectful to people and they, they, they find it a rewarding and engaging career and we do the right things for them. So I, I'm just building uh, upon all of those things that we've put into, into place, making a simpler pe place for people to do business within the business, easier for them to get things done. To what extent was Ian McLeod a mentor and teacher for you and you have now, you're now kind of become his protege taking over? Um, so I, I don't ever think of it like that. I think, you know, we were in a partnership um, uh, as we came along, certainly the leadership team was a brand. I'd never worked with Ian before. It was a pleasure to work with him. Uh, he, he had a ton of experiences that I never had in his, his background, so I learned a lot uh, from Ian in terms of, uh, in terms of his, his background. I'd also been in retail a long time in, in terms of uh, what, what I've done over my career. So it, it was a great experience working with Ian, and we worked hand in hand um, over that period of time. You know, of the time period, I was, I was the guy that stayed with him the most people have gone on to do other jobs within West Farmers have been very successful. So it was, it was, it was great ex experience through that. And I've had lots of great people during that have given me a chance and I've been very lucky to have good people throughout my whole career, including Ian. John, you, you, you talked very early on about staff training. Um, Coles has an academy, which I know you're pretty enthusiastic about, and you're enthusiastic about, its, about the ambitions for the academy. Can you t tell us a little bit about, about what you've done there? Yeah, so we, we, we see that the, the way, you know, Australia's going to become more productive and differentiate itself um, is, is putting skills back in, into, and real skills back into team members. So we, we've set up, I mean, Academy's grand, grand term for it, it's, it's, it's more of a skills training business. The, some of the skills that have got lost over the last decades, like being a baker and a butcher, and a true greengrocer, we want to bring those back. We want to bring those skills back. We, we see our future in our, in our people, both in the people we recruit, but also in the training that we give so that they, they have much more rewarding careers with us. Because I, th I think you can have a very, very rewarding career within a, a business like ours, and certainly within West Farmers. And if I go back to my history in the UK, 20 or 30 years ago, exactly the same place. Food retail was not the Choice. We didn't compete with the big firms. We didn't compete with the big law firms or consulting firms or FMCGs. That all changed. That all changed. And actually, you know, some of the big firms over there, the big retail firms, became the employer of choice. I think we can do the same in Australia. I, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty excited about all of that, actually, because I, I think that we can actually, as I said, I think we can be a, a change agent in this, in the fact that we we do get a, a, a growth economy going, because I'm very positive actually that, that the Australian economy can grow and, and can develop. And with what I'm seeing from the government in terms of noises, we're exactly in the same place, exactly in the same place about growth. And I think people are at the heart of this. Innovation and people are at the heart of our growth. Thanks very much, John. Thank you, John. Pleasure.